In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a direct labor budget. So the direct labor budget is important not just because we want to know what the cost of the direct labor is going to be in future periods, but also because we need to know the cost of direct labor to figure what our ending inventory is going to be for our balance sheet when we put together our budgeted balance sheet, and then also to calculate our cost of goods sold when we put together our budgeted income statement. Because remember, direct labor is a product cost just like direct materials and manufacturing overhead, so we need it to figure the ending inventory balance and the cost of goods sold. So let's say the company makes bottled orange juice. We're going to have to start with a production budget before we can make our direct labor budget because we need to know the required production of each period. In this case, I've got on a quarterly basis, but a company could do also on a monthly basis. So let's say for quarter one, required production is 226,000. That's going to be 226,000 bottles of orange juice that the company needs to produce in quarter one. We're going to use that information it's going to be the first line item in our direct labor budget we're going to start with how many uh, bottles of orange juice we're going to produce 226,000 and then we need to say okay how many hours of direct labor are we going to use per unit per bottle of orange juice how, how many direct how much time do people spend in terms of direct labor hours in order to manufacture a bottle of orange juice and so let's just assume that it's 0.05 and if that's hard for you to think about, like 0 0.05 hours, you could also think about just multiply that by 60 minutes, uh, and that would be three minutes. So that's basically saying that to make one bottle of orange juice, we spend three minutes of direct labor. That's the amount of direct labor we use to produce one unit, one bottle of orange juice. So 226,000 bottles of orange juice times 0 0.05 direct labor hours per unit is going to tell us that we're going to need to use, in quarter one, we're going to need 11,300 direct labor hours. Then we need to know what is the cost per direct labor hour. So let's just assume that that's $10, $10 per direct labor hour. So then we multiply the number of direct labor hours needed for that period, 11,300, times the cost per hour, which is $10, okay, and that's going to give us $113,000 as the total cost of direct labor for quarter one. Now, quarter two, we again go to the required production from our production budget, and we say, okay, we're going to produce 277,000 bottles of orange juice in quarter two. And again, we assume 0 0.05 direct labor hours per unit, and then we multiply the 277,000 by the 0 0.05 because it's 13,850 direct labor hours that are going to be used in the second quarter to produce all this orange juice. So then we multiply that by the $10 an hour and you get $138,000, or excuse me, 138000 $500. And we do the same process for quarter three and quarter four. And then you can see not just for each quarter, you can see 113,000, 138, 522, 87. You not only know the cost of direct labor for each quarter, but you can add it up for the entire year and see that we're budgeted to spend uh, four or incur $460,500 in direct labor costs for this year.